Welcome, welcome. Today we are working on auto crafters. We need a lot of storage disk crafting done and I don't want to do it manually. So let's go. First off, we need a crafter. It's a simple recipe. You just need a machine frame, two redstone torches, two crafting tables. A machine frame is four iron, two blue dye, and two gold nuggets. You can upgrade to a tier two using your tier one crafter and then the two crafting tables and two redstone torches. You can upgrade to the tier three with having the tier two in the middle. Now you're gonna place your auto crafters down where they either look nice or are functional. I usually go for functional most of the time. Next up, you're gonna put down your importers. Those are going to take it to the storage then you can put on your exporters on top and get everything tied into your system. And we're tied in. Perfect. Now you can go ahead and upgrade all of your, all of your importers and exporters can get upgraded now. And that's just speed upgrades. Do it real quick, nice and easy. Now we can work on our processor bindings and our processors. Starting with processor binding, we need two string and one slime for the recipe. Add the string and the slime to the exporter. Now you notice you don't have any power. So we need to tie that in as well. Do that real quick and we'll be good to go from that point. Now we can start adding in our recipes. The processor binding is two string and a slime ball in the middle. Hit apply and then hit R for remember. And once that's gone, it will start crafting and will go really fast. You see how that's going in and out? That's great. Now, if you need an extra spot and you do not have to hit F for forget, all you have to do is you can shift click and with the item you want in your hand and then replace and then grab the old item. It now has a remembered item. Then you can go ahead and add all your items that are gonna be put in there into the exporter. Take your processor binding, take your redstone, take your silicone, take your gold and create new spots. Just like I said, shift click, then take the item out and then you'll have a new spot held for it. Now you're also gonna add in iron and diamonds. So get those put into the exporter as well. And from that point, we can start creating our recipes. Now for the improved processor, that's going to be a processor binding, gold ingot, silicone and redstone. Click apply, then R, it's gonna start making them. You use the iron for the basic and that swaps out with the same recipe, redstone processor binding and silicone, but you just switch out the iron and you'll have the raw basic processor. You are gonna need a lot of those. So I recommend putting that as first priority. And then you can do the same with your diamonds. Also with the first priority, whatever is on top in the list will have priority. Now then you can add in your diamond and that is going to make your advanced processor. And that is gonna be all the processors that you need for most of this whole debacle. It takes a long time and it's really time consuming. Just seriously, I cannot stress how much time you're going to use doing this, but it is totally worth it. Now for the storage part upgrades. We need one more item, and that is quartz enriched iron. Right there. So add in your quartz, add in your iron, and now we can put in one more recipe. And for quartz enriched iron, it's a simple recipe, just like everything else. You're gonna take three iron and one quartz that is going to make the whole thing. Boom, apply and R. Now that we have that, we just grab a bunch of quartz enriched iron and add it to the 
Ultra Exporter. Then put in all of the other thing, like glass and silicone and redstone. Put that in there. And we can start working on our new recipes for the storage parts. So for the 1K storage, it's simple. You're going to put four silicone, a quartz enriched iron, three pieces of glass, and a redstone. That is going to make your 1K storage part. Hit apply, and then hit R, and it's going to start cranking them out. And a, just a quick thing, a much faster way to put recipes in is you just go to the recipe lookup, you hit the plus button while you are about to put in, a, you know, just a normal thing, and then it will automatically put the recipe in, even if you don't have the items required. It's a super useful tip, and you're going to do that for all of your storage parts. Now, once you get to the 4096K storage part, you will be needing Aldemodium, Vibranium, and Unobtainium for anything above the, the 1024. And those are all rare resources, especially Vibranium and Unobtainium. I recommend using bees for that. So you're going to want to go watch that next. Go watch it. <laughs>